guys welcome back to another video my name is Cameron and today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my thumbnails um, I think as a beginning youtuber it's very very important to have really aesthetic pleasing thumbnails and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the free 99 way in a really really simple easy way I know people be using all the extra stuff that you have to pay for and stuff but this is the way I do it and it's really really simple and I'll be making it in the car before I even edit the video so um, make sure you guys like and comment if you like my videos or if you want to see more of me and yeah let's get into the video all right so I'm gonna put you guys on a little mini little screen so you guys can see exactly what's going on on my screen okay so ignore the fact that I had to look up yeah we're just gonna know that but the first thing I want to do is go to Canva that's the only app we're gonna be using today and while you're on Canva, let me make this a little bigger for you guys. So you guys can see all my pretty thumbnails. But while you're on Canva, what you're gonna do is if you already have some pretty high quality thumbnails or thumbnails that you just really genuinely like, genuinely like, go ahead and airdrop that. Or if you have Windows, go ahead and download it to your um, computer so you can go ahead and have them on there. Because what you're gonna do is, well, before you do that, well, you wanna go ahead and do that, but just have them already prepared. So first thing you're gonna do is go to the templates at the top and you're gonna type in YouTube thumbnail. So you're gonna get the first one that's blank, obviously. Or if you like the other ones that are cute or whatever, you can also use those and just like quickly like update them if you already have one in plan that's already on there. That saves a lot of time. But like I was saying about the pictures, like the thumbnails you already have, you're gonna go ahead and go to upload. And you're gonna go ahead and upload them. So how you upload them is, I just realized I uploaded it on my mom's page, on my mom's camera. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a different account because I did this before the video, but I uploaded it on my mom's camera. So we're gonna go to her camera. You're gonna do the same exact thing. I just realized that my bad, y'all. That was a mistake. I was like, where did I put them at? But you're gonna go to YouTube thumbnails, da -da -da, and you're gonna go to upload. So how you upload them is pretty, pretty simple. You're just gonna drag them over here. Um, literally just drag them. So you'll see the files. Let me show you guys. You're gonna open your file and you're literally just gonna drag it. So it's very, very simple. But once you have that, um, once you have that, you either have two options for the thumbnail picture itself. Because these, the thumbnails that you already have previously made are not going to be your whole entire thumbnail. Because people already seen those. So, you want to have like a little cute picture of you like posing. You can either do this um, in your camera after you film the video or before you film the video. You can have this in your camera or while you're actually filming the video. You can go ahead and, you know, do a couple poses. So it's just all up to you. Um, I'm, I showed y'all both of the methods if you got, anybody gets confused, but it's really just up to you. Personally, I like to um, go on my camera and do it. I don't know why, I just like go on my camera and do it because if I do it in the video, I forget where I did it at and I just completely forget. So, um, so yeah, once you have the picture itself, you wanna go ahead and get the picture. So I just realized I didn't upload the picture, y'all. Hold on, I'm actually gonna get the picture for the thumbnail. Okay, y'all, so as you guys can see, I don't know why my MacBook is doing that, but as you guys can see, I have photos that I like that I um, took for the thumbnail, specifically the main picture of the thumbnail. So now you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna go to Upload Files, and I just, wait, I don't know why I did that. I can just drag them. You're gonna go to Upload Files, and you're just gonna drag the pictures that you chose. It could be one, it could be two, it could be a couple three four you guys can see the uploading while you're doing that you want to go ahead and change this, the, the the specific video you're editing so this is editing thumbnail video so whatever you can put the date if it's up to you i don't put the date though i just keep it simple it's really good to have a lot of different versions because you can play around with them all um and see which one you like which one you don't like so you can play with around with them. I had to choose, I had to take a different, completely different picture because 
I didn't like those pictures I took at all. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna just go with this one, okay? But obviously this is definitely off the chain, but we're gonna go with this one. So now that you chose the picture or whatever, you're just gonna click the thumbnail that you like. Like I've said this 18,000 times, but y'all know, keep up with me. It's like y'all are probably far beyond where I'm at, but I'm okay. So just gonna pick your little thumbnails and it just depends on how you wanna place them. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can place them however you want. Like, it's very, very simple. Um, that's how I'm going to have the base of my thumbnail. It's called the base. Um, so now, time for the words. So that whatever. Personally, I like them to be in capital letters. However, it's up to you. I like capital letters. And all my videos have a theme so all of them have that gray type you guys see that part that 2023 gray type thing so it already knows so i'm gonna change it to white and then i'm trying to remember the font that i use i think it's that font Y'all, let me go back. I just forgot the font that I used. I just forgot the font that I used. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my other Canva account. I don't know what that says, but just figured out what font it was. So we're gonna go to text. I hope you guys can hear me because my computer is um, he, uh, cooling down right now. So. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I think I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. I think I'm gonna put it up here. And I'm gonna put it at the top, but I don't want it to block my thumbnails. So I'm gonna do it up here. me being extra oops, delete this is me being extra i add a subheading and i type in my trade name which is love that and i think i'm trying to think this one is the canva one so this is the canva font i, I know that for sure so i use canva make that a little bit bigger and then I hit effects and then crap how do I y'all you know it's funny I really don't do them on my computer as much as you guys do I don't do it on my computer hope you guys enjoyed the video that was a very simple easy video like very simple and easy what I didn't need to do too much um so yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of me and yeah bye guys <laughs>